Here comes the favourite Astern, and the Colt is letting rip with a big run. Astern heads off Yankee Rose, then came good standing and pending into the clear, but Astern a big winner in the Golden Rose. Well, looking back, uh, the dust has settled. Uh, it was a great, great weekend for the for the team. Great for Sheikh Mohammed to have a horse of this calibre um, to be able to to look at and watch him race. Uh, it was just a pleasure to see him in full flight and show his great turn of acceleration and win with such authority and ease. Um, lovely Cole, he's come out of the run super um, and he's on target for the Caulfield Guineas prelude and the Caulfield Guineas. Uh, he's a very happy horse, impending. He also came out of the race well, he didn't uh, disgrace himself. It was a terrific run in running third to and, and, be, and no disgrace being beaten by two horses of, of, uh, of quality in, on their sword and in a stern. Welcome to the Team Godolphin preview of Group 1 George Main Stakes Day at Royal Randwick, Sydney. Hartnell, well his win the other day had to be seen to be believed. Uh, the way he travelled in the run, his two runs, this, this preparation had been first class. Um, he travelled sweetly the other day and showed a great turn of foot and was shut down over the last 100 metres by James. Um, he too is a, he's, he's thrived since his, um, his last win, getting out to a, a trip that is really his liking, the, the mile and a quarter wait for age um, so he ticks a lot of boxes John and the team couldn't be more happier with with uh, the way that he's doing it's somewhat um, doesn't look a lot of speed in the race um, he's a bit of a bold galloper the other day in his race in the tramway he, he traveled nicely just behind the speed and he was just out sprinted over that over that course and distance uh, stepping out to a mile is certainly going to be more in his favor uh, but he too has got something to contend with in Winks, but um, he'll certainly give us something to chase. Iraqi, uh, the, the George Main Stakes, uh, great race for him. Uh, his, his win the other day actually surprised a few of us. Uh, he hit the line, showed what he can do. Obviously, he's got a little bit of a hurdle ahead of him uh, in, in Winks, but in saying that, the horse is in really really fine form he's, he's he's jumping out of his skin and um he's come out of that race very very well so um in hopefully he'll be able to just get a nice run in the race and this will tip him off uh for the epsom magic uh he's starting to lose a little bit of that belly now uh his coat's starting to come so uh he's uh, obviously his main target is the metrop this run will just tip him off nice he is uh uh, running in a wait for age race is probably a little bit of a disadvantage for him but uh, when he when he gets back to handicap conditions it's going to be more suitable for him but he's he's uh, he's, he's come out of that run a few weeks ago extremely well and uh, looking forward to uh, getting a little bit more mileage into his legs Sarajevo well he's he's really on fire this horse he burnt the turf the other morning at Warwick Farm last uh, on Tuesday morning on the outside of the course proper. He seems to have liked his uh, races spaced. Um, he's had four weeks between runs. It's a, it's a hot little field, but um, given uh, that he, he, he do, has performed well at Randwick, his, his run the other day at Rose Hill last start was, was a cracker. So um, if there's any chinks in the armor of the other runners, he'll be there to overcome it. Japanda, uh, her run was okay the other day. She played up a little bit in the gates. Hopefully we can get away a, a clean start on Saturday. Uh, she's a filly that uh, every rider says that she probably is looking for a little bit more ground. So um, stepping out to the seven films is going to be suitable for her. Uh, John has um, included the blinkers on her just to sharpen her up a bit. And um, she certainly uh, gelled with them this morning here at Osborne Park. Um, but um, she's in fine form.